I know what's up. You know what's up. Let's get straight into the video. Hey guys, Trife here, back again with another video. If you don't know, the shotgun rework just came out a few days ago, and I've been meaning to make a tier list covering how strong this style is exactly. I made a proper video covering how to actually use this style. However, it will come around at some point next week, probably. But disregarding that, today I'd like to cover how strong the shotgun rework is compared to the rest of the styles in this game, as well as updating other placements that I feel were a bit inaccurate in the last tier list and yeah that's basically all there is to it if you guys like the video you know what to do smash the like button smash the subscribe button and join the discord down below and of course massive shout out to the six members of the trife channel simon our laws probably dark mercenary charles gaming 21 and lil z Before we begin, I'd like to make it clear that due to further testing with some of these lower end styles such as Wolf, and the fact that with Wolf in particular, I've been led to believe it's much worse than that. any style in this game is particularly bad or anything below 80. Just about every single style in this game seems to be quite good and can do well against all the other styles in this game with a few matchup based exceptions. For the first style I'll be reevaluating in this tier list, I think Counter would be should be relegated to the bottom of A plus T, due to the fact it has no unique abilities or exceptional stats that can make up for its poor base damage, and as a result, it's so over reliant on counters that it doesn't have anything else really going for it. I know that counters are very strong in this game in a faint base meta, but that's really all counter has, and beyond that, it's essentially just basic but with worse damage and worse stats. And also fast M1. Don't get me wrong, faster ones are very good in this game, but it's not to the point that it makes that much of a difference. With hand slow, it has very good dashes, while having around the same counter damage, arguably more as M2s. And with the dashes in particular being so good that double dashing with hand slow is quite reliable, and counter just doesn't have access to that. Along with the fact that its M1's a lot more telegraphed, it just generally doesn't have anything that gives it an edge in particular situations where it can snowball the match into its favor, like Kronos and its focus ability, where one good mix up can allow you to take 50% of someone's health in one interaction or two interactions. Next up, I'll be covering Kimra. This style is essentially just basic but with worse damage and a passive ability that's been gutted. Don't get me wrong, it really messes with your resource management in how it nerfs your HP regen and it increases your stamina consumption on its, its your attacks and your dashes, but it isn't to the extent where it has a real presence within the match. The lack of dash iframe nerfs or dash distance nerfs really has made this style go from being really good to just really lacking in terms of its unique gimmick. But the gimmick still has a play when it comes to allowing Kimura to land hits a lot more often and maintain pressure so that your opponent runs out of stamina by missing dashes a lot more quickly. Next up, for Hammer, I was quite wrong with how reliably you can land the Hammer ability against your opponent and how quickly you can get it back. But don't get me wrong, you can still get use it like three times per stock potentially and along with that, due to how King Reliant is, you can more often than not land the ability. But it really depends on your opponent's ping. I don't know how it interacts specifically, but there are some situations where you'll never land the hammer ability for zero reason and sometimes you'll always land it no matter how quickly your opponent reacts or what timing they use. I don't get why this happens specifically. I think it's a rollback issue in terms of the fact that it's a grab that requires the ping of both parties who operate. But regardless, due to how confusing it is and the base damage it has, it's definitely in the middle of A plus T and can really mess up styles with less HP like Kronos and Freedom. And of course, Iron Fist just absolutely perishes against Hammer due to its poor dashes. Moving on to Wolf, I feel like I was a bit too harsh with this style for virtually zero reason. Essentially, this style thrives off the counter play style the best due to the fact that the M2 is true into a second M2 off a counter. That means due to how fast the M2 is being almost as fast as fast as an M1, if you use it like it's a bullet or it's hand slow, this style goes from being a B plus style to an A plus style and I cannot stress this enough. However, due to how fast the M2 is and how slow the M1 is, in some cases your opponent can get a timing down that covers both the M2 and M2 faint and it makes it really hard to 
land faints or utilize faints in the first place. And I feel like that's an issue that needs to be resolved that I think is unintentional, but that's just me. Now for the next myth call on this new tier list. Ippo, I do believe, is definitely better than charge. That's really the only change I'm making for this style. The DMT roll is way better than the charge ability, but don't get me wrong. Stampede, still quite strong, but Ippo is just that much better and generally just have zero, it has zero downsides basically. The counter intake that the Dempsey roll initially had in testing needs to be added back so the style is just a bit more balanced. Moving on to Bullet, I think this style is definitely better than Charge, Ippo and Turtle, but I wouldn't say it's better than Ghost, spoiler alert. Its Bullet Jab is absolutely crazy for shutting down dash spam and double dashes. The fact that it has a counter multiplier on its Bullet Jab is quite good. Its counter M1 damage is is quite good as well for really no reason and it's counter m2 damage clearly the best in the game as a result i'd say it's probably the best counter style in this game especially if you use it well as a counter style do keep in mind however it still has somewhat lacking block damage but the base damage is still decent enough so that you don't have to entirely rely on counters similar to hands low counter and arguably chronos moving on to ghost i do believe ghost is generally the best st style simply because of the fact that the ghost jab is so insanely versatile and is one of the two unreactable options in this game. If you use this as a counter style and your perfect dodging capabilities are superb, then you're an absolute offensive demon. And for some reason, Ghost's double dashing capabilities are quite good. It might be better than counter. I, again, I don't know why this is the case. I think it's an oversight or might be a bit of a bug. But with all these offensive and offensive capabilities in mind and the fact that its base damage isn't really that bad, and along with the fact that its M2 range is quite crazy and can punish whiffed backdashes very easily, this style is very good offensively to the extent that I think it needs a slight nerf. Now regarding Hawk, I do think this style is marginally better than Charge but worse than Ippo. It has virtually no double dashing capabilities, however Swayback makes it so reacting to M1s is essentially child's play. Its base abilities when it doesn't have Ecstasy or Bloodlust is lacking but when it does get into Bloodlust or Ecstasy, in particular Bloodlust is very easily accessible and most of the time you will be in Bloodlust, this style is an offensive demon. It's essentially a counter style but with with access to really good base damage. It also has the insane anti-heal which makes raw ults very reliable. I do think the anti-heal needs to be removed. I don't know why it exists. It, it exists on Slugger and that shit is overtuned as hell, but that's just me. Overall, it's a very strong style and over time we might see it actually going back to the top of ST. And finally, we have Shotgun. I think this style is probably the third S plus T this game has ever seen. The reason why is simple. The double barrage is overtuned as hell. It shreds block like crazy and as a result there's a crap ton of damage for no reason. If you late block break with the uh, shotgun barrage you can true stun into an ultimate. That is a bit unreliable. If anyone knows that's a thing you can do they won't block in the first place. But the mere fact that it's essentially a mini ultimate that does 20% of your damage each time you land it is absolutely crazy. And it's not particularly difficult to get people in the corner if you just play somewhat smart and understand the movement uh, patterns that your opponent has. Do keep in mind it has the worst counter intake in the entire game and definitely does hold it back from being the best style in this game. Honestly it might just be the best ST style. It's, it's, it's very marginal the difference. Regardless, Double Barrage needs to be nerfed. Once it does get nerfed, I think it will probably hover around ST, maybe A plus T depending on how things go. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. If you guys like the video, you know what I said from the beginning, like, subscribe and join the Discord down below. If you disagree with me, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. If you agree with me, tell me what you guys think should be improved or if um, I'm just a goat. <laughs> and yeah, see ya.